Welcome to the channel. This is VW Tiguan 2015 model, 2 liter. Basically, engine management light only. We'll see what happened for the engine management light. First, I'm going to start the car. You can see that side. Engine management light on and the one morning for the could be bulb. What could happen here? Share your idea in comment section. I can check that one later. However, I'm going to plug in my computer and check what's going on for this car. I'm going to call under engine management light. Right. One faulty code for P06710 cylinder number one glow plug circuit and the second faulty code P220900 knock sensor heater sensor bank 1 sensor 1 circuit range for 4 months I feeling something not right with the glow plugs and the knock sensor however I am going to do the glow plug and one glow plug and the, because of the this one, one glow plug going to be 20 pounds something, then customer don't want to put it uh, three glow plugs. Plus, there is another special glow plug which come with the like a sensor also well top of the plug. That one very expensive because of that. We are not going to change all glow plugs. We just change glow plug number one. And after that, we are going to change the knock sensor. Same time, after that, I am going to do the region process if vehicle needed now i know the faulty code i'm going to exit from here and check what's the condition of the dpf at the moment dpf not bad you can see it's it's 0 0.09 basically it's not bad at all however i'm going to do the blow plugs and the knock sensor and reset light and take to the road test and have a look what's going on there Let's go to the engine bay. I'm going to switch off the car. Leave it everything as it is. In. And also, I'm going to clean everything. Then once I do the repair, I don't want to clear anything. Then now once I cleared, I'm not going to start the car. Right, all clear up now. Then I'm going to ignition off. Key leave it outside and go into the engine bay. Need to lift up this cover. Right, it's out. You can see here this is glow plug number one, two. This is the special glow plug. Number third one and the fourth one, this is the one, glow plug start from the cam belt end. Basically, I'm going to replace number one, these glow plugs. And this is the knock sensor we're talking. We have to remove here. It's go all the way and it's coming to the here. Basically, I'm going to replace knock sensor, replace glow plug number one. And the same time, I'm going to inject DPF chemical. And after that, I'm going to take to the road test. First thing I'm going to replace this glow plug number one. You need a special tool like this to remove glow plug connector. Right. The connector out. And you need a 10 mil socket for that one. I'm going to use smaller ratchet because if you use bigger ratchet, you don't know how weight come into the ratchet. Sometimes you are going to ending with snap this glow plug. Careful, use proper one. If you're using the smaller ratchet, it's feel to your hand. 
right. Let's see, it's loose. Right, it's out. If you want, check this one. You can put the positive line here and the negative here. Then this tip will be light up. However, I'm going to change. So I'm going to over tight. Right, it's in. After that, need to remove this lock sensor. Need to remove. There is a two 11 mil nut heads there, plastic. Right, I'm going to leave it everything as it is. Make sure when you're going to change the parts, use original VW parts. Don't go to use the online parts. Sometimes you're ending with additional problem. Then after that, I'm going to remove lock sensor in inside. You need a special socket like this for this job one too long i'm going to use it shorter socket little bit of good place but durable hopefully it will loose Like it's slip or oh. um, I know it's loose, right? That's good. Right, I already removed there. If you going to do the DPF cleaning process, this is the ideal place to inject chemical. However, this job I am not going to clean the DPF because at the moment DPF particles very low level, then I don't want to do the cleaning DPF. Make sure check the connectors for pin one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, identically identically same. And I'm going to install new sensor. Right. Nice and tight. After that. I am going to lay out following the old unit. This is the old one. However, I am not going to throw away. I am going to use the chemical and clean this one and have a look. Is it reusable? right right now we all done the engine bay I'm going to install this cover next step I'm going to check the oil level before I go to the motorway right I'm happy with the oil level 
किया है देन लेट्स गो टू द मोटर वे जर्नी आई लेफ्ट इट रनिंग फिफ्टीन मिनट आई एम गोट स्विच ऑफ स्टार्ट स्विच ऑफ स्टार्ट स्विच ऑफ इग्निशन ऑन एंड आई एम गोट टू चेक विद द कंप्यूटर एनी फॉल्ट रिकॉर्ड लेफ्ट दे आर नाउ right at the moment no any faulty cords right i am now ready to go to the 20 miles motorway journey and after that i'll come back to you right i'll zero the trip then let's go to the road test 19.5 miles complete the motorway journey 19.2 miles normally it's going to be 19.5 however this is counted as a 19.2 anyway i'll check with the computer try to take a code for engine management you can see as it is no right. faulty codes good sign success job thanks for watching if you have a like this problem you know what to do now follow this video end of the day you will be fine however you need a reasonable computer for like this job thank you see you with the next video we hope you find valuable insights here that enrich your understanding please consider subscribing and hitting the like button to support our content sharing this with those who would benefit helps us grow and your support means the world to us